It's a trip to one of Dulwich Hamlet's bogey teams this afternoon who's unbeaten Leiston welcome them to Victory Road. Hamlet lost 3-1 last weekend against Billericay Town for their first defeat of the season and matched their record of four points after three games from last year. Gavin Tomlin, Anthony Achimpong and Kenny Beanie drop out of the lineup. whilst Fraser Shaw makes his second debut, Nathan Ferguson gets his first start and Mark Weatherstone also comes in. The Blues went 14 unbeaten at the beginning of the previous campaign and they remain without a loss after three games this time around. That was thanks to a last minute equaliser from Joe Marsden at Margate last Saturday which salvaged a 2-2 draw. Marsden is rewarded with a start whilst Joe Jefford also comes back in. Dulwich's only win in eight meetings with Leiston came here three years ago. Can they pick up another and make it consecutive away wins this season? Here is Ferguson. DeMarca got Clunis to his left. DeMarca fancies the early shot. Just a warning sign for Layston. Can't afford to give him that much room. DeMarca will probably feel he should have done better with that shot, though. He'll come forward to take his throw. Gets it back, the right back. Whoops in the cross. Blake trying to bring it down. Gets there ahead of Weatherstone. Shot was charged down. And the volleyed shot from Christy Fincher straight to Edwards. Connected with it well. Edwards. Holds on to it, though. Ferguson, another tall player in this Dulwich lineup today. Lofted in by Crew. DeMarco tries to get up. Did get his head on it. Stole in front of his marker, but can't keep his header down. Still awaiting his first competitive goal this season after an excellent pre-season from DeMarco. Eight goals he scored. Kept the attentions of Ainsley at bay. That's what DeMarco will do to you. Won't allow you to rest. Ferguson. Well controlled. Bring it forward, Nathan Ferguson. Slips it through towards the marker. Defender slides in. Does well. Excellent. Sliding tackle. The marker had a tight angle working against him, but still back into at least find a shot on target from there. Jefford stopped him in his tracks. Crew again. Deeper one this time. It was Hales that got up. And like the marker, can't... Direct his header on target. A few half chances so far for the visitors, but nothing too uh, serious for Marcus Garnham to be concerned with. Chambers. Finds Clunis. Touch takes him away from Hammond. Lovely uh, pace that from Clunis. He is a quick customer and he gets away from Hammond yet again. Behind DeMarco it goes. Ferguson's in the penalty area. They gets a shot on goal. Wrong side of the post. Again, Dulwich building nicely. Good attack down the left wing from Clunis. Pulled it back behind DeMarco, it went, but fell to Ferguson. Managed to find the shot on goal, but again, it's off target for Dulwich. Hales called that early. Good header downfield. Ferguson cushions that one down for his former Grace teammate, DeMarco. Shaw wants it. He plays him in to BB DeMarco. Shaw forced a little wide. In comes the cross, and Dulwich will have the corner. Again, it's that left hand side causing problems. This time it's short. First league encounter for a few years. Dulles hold the bragging rights from last season, of course. Ming, lovely skill against Marsden. Gets the cross in. Clunis trying to bring it down. Does just that. Clunis, brilliant goal. What an excellent start for Dulwich. They created some half chances and they do take a lead. It's Naren Clunis with his first goal of the season. Excellent work from Sanchez Ming to uh, create the chance for him. Clunis plucked out the air and fires beyond Garnham. It has been coming. A few warning signs for the home side. I mean, good bit of skill up against Marsden. Just got him that space. And the cross was brought down expertly by Clunis. Let it bounce. Fires it past Garnham. Dulwich lead. Crew, good challenge there. Comes for Clunis. DeMarca. Clunis continues to make strides down the middle. Clunis pulls it back. Behind DeMarca it goes who stumbled. Fraser short. Carew. Draws a couple of challenges, still Carew, all the way through he goes. Still Carew, in the end he's tried a little too much. It's Finch, deep ball in, Shaw gets his head to it. Put down by Marsden. Quick feet from him this time, gets away from Carew and gets the shot in. It's blocked by Dulwich man. Mason trying to respond straight away.
Chambers marking the keeper. A lot of pink shirts making the run into the area now for this crew delivery. Garnham's not had a sight of the ball there. Flapping. Clunas has nicked off Blake. Had a good start now on Clunas this game. Cross deflected. Weatherstone tries to keep it alive. Wouldn't quite drop for Hales. Found the heads a few times. Men in pink shirts. Crew. Garnham again doesn't get there. It's come for Chambers. Pokes it the wrong side of the post. Neither he nor Weatherstone could get a definitive touch. Just trickles the wrong side as far as Dulles are concerned. Again, though Garnham not covering himself in any glory. Clunis, sure bursting forward to his left and Clunis has found him. Doesn't need any invitation to stretch the legs. He's like Nathan Green in that regard. Taken on Marsden. Beaten Marsden. Deflected in the path of Clunis. Is there another shot for him? Takes a deflection and goes over the top. Could have gone anywhere. Garnham was rooted to the spot. An in-swinger this time from Carew, the first we've had of those this afternoon. And towards Hales. Again, it's the wrong side of the post. Got up well, Ricky Hales. Second time he's had a header in that penalty area in this first half. And again, it's off target from him. Spreads the place as this side. It's a nice pass and well taken down as well by Dunbar. And look at the space he can move into. Sends the early ball long. Blake trying to hold off Chambers. Does just that. And again, Weatherstone charges down his shot. That's the third time in this first half that's happened. Spins kindly for Doherty, though. Goes off to Marsden. Got away from Cargbo. Still Marsden. That's not far from the top corner, you know. Found the space in the end, Joe Marsden. Can't repeat his goal from Saturday. He wants it now. Demarco. Can be so dangerous with the ball at his feet. Got such quick feet for a big man. Marker trying to find Ferguson on in turn to short. Again forward from the fullback roll. Hangs in the high ball. Demarco can't bring it down. Comes to Ming. Brilliant second goal inside the near post. What an excellent connection that was from Sanchez Ming. And Dulwich do double their lead. Only two goals last season. He's off and running in this campaign. Really sweet connection. Garnham wouldn't have seen that till late. Had no chance of getting down the goalkeeper. Deep ball in by Short. Ming on the bounce. Fires it inside the near post. Dulwich over second. He conceded two goals in both the games he played against Dulwich last season. Garnham. He's done so again this first half. Shore away. Only as far as... Lawrence though, it's at the post, and it's tapping for Finch. And they do have a goal. Edwards did well to, uh, I think, get a touch on the original shot. Came off the post and fell so kindly for Finch, and out of nowhere, Layson do have that goal before the break. A really important moment in this first half, perhaps. Original shot, cannon off the post, Finch reacted quickest. Eagle. Hammond, is there a quick fire double perhaps for the home side? Surging forward is the right back. Blake flicks that on, but away from goal it goes. Not sure if you could call that a, a shot on goal or not, whether he's just trying to glance it on. Either way, it didn't cause Dulwich any problems. Jefford can bring it down. Dulwich just a little bit deeper all of a sudden. <coughs> Understands that Layson are going to be coming at them. There goes Lawrence trying to get in. It's a foul by Hales on Byron Lawrence. Edwards has lined up his men. All that can be done now is the free kick be taken. Hammond leaves it for Lawrence. Edwards oh. palms away. It's a good save. Out to Hammond. Here's Blake. Deflected wide. Edwards with a strong palm. Saved a free kick last weekend against Billericke. In a similar manner, turning one away. Blake on the prowl. Is uh, short. One for DeMarco to chase. Brings it down to maybe to Marker. Garnham with the save. Just couldn't quite poke it beyond him. It's a really dreadful pass. Clunis, time on the ball now. Look to release the marker downfield. First touch. He's got him away from Ainsley. He's gone over, I think, on his ankle. To marker into the area now. Still the marker holds off Eagle. Deflects behind for a corner. Concern though for Layston, just the way that. 
Ainsley went down there. But Garnham under pressure, it seems he's not the best at coming to claim crosses. Chambers again will look to uh, stand in his way. Crew deep, DeMarca trying to keep it alive. Garnham got a touch on it. It comes to Ferguson, deflects away. Crew could have maybe taken a touch before sending them with his right foot. Drop for Clunis. Cargo by on Chambers as well. All the way through to Garnham it goes and he and Layson survive in the end. Ferguson trying to win it back. To mark it this time going in. Well won. Cargbo. Clunis. Ferguson ahead of him. Clunis lines up the shot himself. Not a fizz in it, but wasn't really troubling Garnham at any point there. Never looked concerned, the goalkeeper. Eagle. He's got Hammond on the overlap to his right and uses him. Carl trying to jeer up their side. Hammond sends in the low ball. Weatherson well, Doherty going in. Here's Ford. Must took too long against Cargbo, but releases Hammond. Early ball. Too deep, I think, for Finch. Did he keep it in play? Not quite. Unlucky. Pacey attack. Been impressed with Carl Hammond today. Edwards hasn't gathered cleanly. Ming just got a little toe on that ahead of Ford, and Cargbo volleys it away from Harm. He's not going to book him, unlike he did with Crew in the first half. Which means he must know there was contact. Eagle again. He's headed behind. Well up Ricky Hales. And Shaw sure nods that on. Up near by Hammond. Clunis will put him under pressure. It's dropped for DeMarca. Can he return the ball to Clunis perhaps? Trying to slip him in. It's beyond him. Ainsley does enough. Clunis gets a little touch, but... Now we'll run at Ibrahim Kargbo. One for Finch to chase down the line. Got Blake in the middle. Pelling joins him. Finch sends it in. Hales gets ahead of Blake, importantly. Really wicked ball in. Hammond does wrap his foot around the cross. Big goal kick. Featherstone does enough in the penalty area. Slow taking of throw-ins. No rush, as you'd expect. Shots for Clunis. Played on the chest by DeMarco. Clunis trying to find some room to do something. Carew, Ferguson. Carew on the left foot. Oh, that's not far over. On his weaker foot. Ashley Carew has hit a, a rocket of a shot, but over the top it goes. Hasn't been able to come forward too often today. Sure looking for support. Clunis. Again, Naren Clunis in possession. Cargbo. Clunis going to get onto his right foot. Finds Ferguson. He does get the shot in. Garnham palms away. Back to Clunis. And again, Garnham saves. Brilliant double stop by the ex subbury man. Move still alive. Short. Might be too close to the goalkeeper. Again, Fowles doing all the running. Eagle around the corner to Ainsley. Looking for an opening to move it forward now. Dunbar in possession, just inside his own half. Towards Blake it goes. Hales has marshalled him well so far today. Might deflect for Blake, it has. Edwards pounces on the ball, almost went through his legs. Got lucky with the first goal, Finch, the ball fell nicely to him. It did so again. This time Edwards can make the save. Gavin Rose clearly wants to go for the juggler. Foul. Put the ball under a spell. Uses Sanchez Mink. Good touch from Ferguson. Tries to lob the keeper. That's excellent idea from Nathan Ferguson. Exquisite. Just lacking the uh, precision in the end. Short. Taking his time on the ball here, Fraser Short. Enjoying his second debut so far. His first game for Dulwich was an eventful night against Wingate and Finchley in a 3-3 draw at Champion Hill, actually. Cargbo, Clunis, is there a shot for him? Yes, there is, but again, it's not troubling Garnham. Wrapped his foot around that Lawrence, up in the air by Hales. And he gets a second header in Dulwich. Chambers provides it. Foul away from one challenge. 
Space to move into Mohamedou Fall. Holding off Ainsley for the second time. Still Fall. It's a long way off target from Mohamedou Fall. Did all the hard work of getting away from harm. It's not a shot he wants to watch again. Drops for Hales. Curl one down the line. Dulles gets to the second ball quickest. Fall. Again will drive forward. To his left is Cludis. He's got Shaw on the overlap as well. Plays it into him. Shaw goes down. He was well waiting for the challenge of Hammond. Knew it was going to be contact. Quickly downfield by Garn and Pelling will give chase. Chambers has another free header. Hammond brought it down. Beanie's touch is important there. Clunis, Fahl, again using his frame to good effect. Outside the boot ball through to Clunis. And again to his right foot. Yes, he can. Clunis, oh, should have scored. That is a huge opportunity for Nyron Clunis and Dulwich. He should have hit the target at least from that range. Generated the space by getting onto his right foot. That is a big waste. Cargo brings it down, but only finds Eagle. One final surge is on here. Here goes Hammond. Well found by Ford. Pulls it back. Pelling. Charged down by Michael Chambers. Important block there. Can't go anywhere we'll do downfield. It's going to go long. Surely. It does. Jefford knocked it on. Drops for Blake in there. Well blocked Weatherstone this time. Blake again. And Ford hails away. Dulwich defence stands firm. <laughs> Eagles was near post. Beyond Beanie. 2-2. Two -two. And Dulwich have been pegged back at the end. It evaded Kenny Beanie at the front post. And Joe Jefford has given Layson a point surely with two minutes on the clock in injury time in by Eagle missed by Beanie headed home by Jefford has to be perfect from Beanie so I can't imagine there's much more time to play now Last moment in this game. Beanie in. Garnham doesn't get the touch he wanted. Chambers won't retrieve it because the full-time whistle blows. And for the second week running, Layson have come from 2-0 down to uh, salvage a 2-2 draw. In injury time, Joe Jefford headed home. A Rob Eagle corner. Dulwich had started the game so well, went 2-0 up. Nairon Clunis with a goal to 17 minutes following a Sanchez Ming cross. And then Ming himself got on the score sheet to make it 2-0. Seemingly was going to be that way at the break, but uh, Christy Finch had other ideas. The goal just uh, three minutes before the interval, reacting after a ball hit the post. And then right at the end, that uh, goal from Jefford giving Layson a share of the spoils. They continue their good record against Dulwich. Just one defeat in nine games against them. Dulwich had chances to win to uh, seal the three points before that second goal, particularly one from Nairon Clunis right at the end. He fired over when he should have hit the target. Full-time score at Victory Road is Layson 2, Dulwich Hamlet 2.